A few other flowers that we're looking at, and, and these four o'clocks, the beautiful flowers. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get a very good stand. Not exactly sure uh, if we had you know some low standard seed or we just didn't get good seed to soil contact. The ones that came up look really, really nice. Uh, beautiful blossoms starting to come out, nice big leaf. Uh, so those are four o'clocks. Uh, these are calendulas right here. I'm a little disappointed in these. These have looked better in the past. They've looked good. There, there's a lot of insect feeding here. Grasshoppers or something are, are really kind of chewing on these leaves and I think holding them back. Uh, so we'll have to kind of check into that. But in the past, calendulas have done pretty well. And then here to my right, uh, baby's breath. Uh, very popular in flower arrangements and stuff. It hasn't quite hit its stride yet. Uh, I'm not sure it likes the, as much heat as we've had. It looks a little bit heat stressed here as well. Uh, but just looking at all kinds of diversity. And then over here, uh, we have catnip, which is in the mint family. And uh, again, I'm not sure that we'll really put this in a lot of mixes, but it was available, so we tried it. A lot of insect activity here. Uh, but Dale, what would be one of the drawbacks to using very much of this? Might bring in mountain lions. So, um, <laughs> never know. Um, a number of the mint family, uh, the plants in the mint family tend to be very aggressive. So I, I'm, I'm a little fearful. We'll evaluate it for a while. Worried about its weedy potential. That's something we always look at. Any new cover crop, we don't want to be introducing the next Cerisia lespidiza. Uh, so, you know, we want to give this a good look over a few years before we put it out. But um, you mentioned the insect damage on the uh, calendula. Um, if you're looking at it as a crop, that's a bad thing. But if you're looking at it as a cover crop, sometimes that's a good thing. Because insects, you bring in insects, you bring in insect predators. Other insects, yeah. Yeah, you know, it... The bugs that bite us have bugs that bite them, and they, even those have ones that bite them, and so on ad infinitum. You know, everything's eaten by something. And if you bring in these uh, insects that, you know, don't harm any of our crops, it brings in insect eaters, brings in birds, brings in praying mantises, you know, uh, spiders, all sorts of predatory insect feeders, and, and so you get good general insect control and you just don't end up with outbreaks and so this is not necessarily a bad thing It'd be better in a mix than it would be in the strip by itself right you put it in a mix it's just fine 